on nine. As we know, here in Metro Detroit, much of the country is now covered in smoke-filled air, all pouring in from hundreds of wildfires in Canada. This clogged air is limiting outdoor activities and exacerbating health issues for some. Fox's Doug Guzada joins us live from Washington, D.C. Uh, we got it here, Doug, and you clearly have the smoky haze behind you there. Yeah. Good morning. We do. Good morning. Yeah, it just really depends, obviously, on, on where you are. Um, we do have this haze here in Washington. It's a little tough to see the capital behind me here. As you go farther to the north, as you get closer to the Canadian border here, kind of along the eastern seaboard, it gets worse and worse. Philly is worse than D.C. New York is worse than Philly. And some of those images uh, have been pretty startling. The firefighters in Canada are racing to douse the flames, but the smoke from hundreds of wildfires keeps billowing up and moving south. Wind currents are carrying the thick air into the eastern half of the country. In New York, Times Square took on an orange hue. And in Washington, some fans at last night's Nationals game left early, with the haze easily visible through the lights. My throat is a bit itchy, and uh, I feel a headache coming on, so decided to leave. As satellite images capture the extent of the smoke. And through that haze, you can see the return of something many of us ditched some time ago face masks, lots of them, with New York's governor warning residents to stay put. You don't need to go out and run tonight. You don't need to go out and take a walk. You don't need to push the baby in the stroller. This is not a safe time to do that. I want to reiterate that. President Biden spoke to Canadian Prime Minister Trudeau yesterday. This is why the president has made climate change uh, a priority. But in truth, there are a number of causes here, a combination of dry air, huge fires, and winds blowing from the north and it can all add up to health problems. People, if they were to be outside, especially if they're exercising, breathing faster, um, they're going to be inhaling particulates at concentrations that normal smokers would inhale. The tourists, meantime, are still out and about, even if the sightseeing isn't quite what they were expecting. And as we come back out live here to Capitol Hill, you look at that U.S. flag there blowing in the, in the breeze, and, and this kind of demonstrates uh, the issue here, that wind is coming from the north, and that is blowing that billowy smoke uh, down from Canada. This is going to be a question of how long that north wind uh, persists. Uh, forecasters seem to indicate it's going to stick around here for a little while, and as long as that's the case, uh, D.C. is going to remain uh, in this kind of murky haze, uh, as will a good portion of the eastern part of the country. And, you know, this is something that we're all experiencing now that western states go through periodically. Um, it's just a, unusual to see it in this part of the country. Yeah, and especially when you have you know, groups going to sightsee in places like Washington, D.C., where the view, uh, the, you know, the skyline, if you will, is so important to see, and that's hindered a little bit. Doug, what do you, do you feel any irritation, a tickle in your throat or itchy eyes or anything? Not, not, nothing too bad. You know, we've been out here kind of on and off through the course of the morning. You know, we haven't been out here for any, any significant length of time. Um, I, you know, I, I, I think the, the, the key thing here seems to be, you know, not necessarily exercising in this kind of weather. Um, but, uh, but beyond that, they are canceling some activities. Uh, you know, my kids had indoor recess yesterday. They're probably going to have that again to that today yeah. uh, to keep them inside as much as possible. Some activities are being canceled and so on. But again, you know, you go up to New York and it is much worse than we're seeing here. Yeah, there certainly are varying degrees of it all, um, depending on geographically where things are and weather conditions and probably buildings and all of that making a difference. Uh, Doug Luzader, thank you so much. And thanks, Dana.